Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Trogue Brewing. This is their Nugget Nectar. Guys, I reviewed this one in the bottle back in 2015. Uh, I think it was 2015. No, it was a lot longer than that. It was about six years ago. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I've done this beer. Uh, this beer is a 7.5 percenter, 93 IBUs. I said on there, and it's got a date on the bottom of the can, but it is a precious enjoyed by. And today is the 19th of January, 2017, and this says "Freshest by 0503 2017." 0503, which is May the 3rd of 2017, which is the fifth month. So this beer is being given a six-month shelf life or longer. Because I know it wasn't done any uh, uh, any earlier than last month. Because it takes that long for the distribution to get it to the warehouse and then get it to the stores. Uh, Rico sent me this beer, even though it's probably available here. Uh, and he didn't go back far enough or wanted me to re review it. So uh, he brought this one down to me. Actually, he brought me three of them. And, uh, so I'm going to re review it. Uh, I'd say this is the 2016 version in the can here. Uh, all these breweries that are going to these best buy, precious buy, enjoy buy, use buy, uh, kiss my ass buy, uh, dates suck hind titty as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that information is only good for them. Put the bottle on date, put the can on date on it. That's what I'm wanting to see. So if you're using one of these silly ass uh, precious buy, enjoy buy, use buy, uh, I think you suck. <laughs> I'm just going to be straight up honest with you guys. If you're using one of these enjoy by, fresh by, used by dates, you suck. You suck. Put the damn can on date or put the bottle on date on it. Otherwise, I'm not going to buy your freaking beers anymore. I didn't buy this one. Like I said, I, I've got to the point where if you can't put a can on date or a bottle on date, your shit can sit on the shelf till some other sucker comes along. End of conversation there. Uh, all you breweries that's making IPAs and putting a six month or longer shelf light on it, again, you suck. You suck. So, enough of that horse shit. Uh, over to uh, the commercial description. This is a seven and a half percenter. I gave you the IBUs. It says, squeeze those hops for all they're worth and prepare to pucker up. Trogue's newest single batch brew, Nugget Nectar Ale, will take hops to Nirvana with an easy collection of Nugget, Warrior, and Tomahawk hops. Starting with the same base ingredients, our flagship Hopback Amber Ale, Nugget Nectar intensifies the malt and hop flavors to create an explosive hop experience. While the brewery considers this an Imperial Amber Ale, rate beer considered an IPA due to the hopping rate. There is no need to send any other corrections to the style. Well, if you got 93 IBUs, it is not an Amber Ale. I hate to tell you that, boys. But uh, when you get to the 93, this is not a Pale Ale. This is not an Amber Ale. I am so sorry. It is to the IPA category. I'm not a brewer. I'm a home brewer, but I'm not a professional brewer. But when you brew a beer with that much hops, and it's got 93 IBUs, it is an IPA. It is not an Imperial Amber Ale. Excuse me. They don't have that much IBUs in that style of beer. So, if you are brewing an amber ale and you're hopping it that much, you've changed it. As far as I'm concerned, you've changed the style of the beer. It's got it's moved up to an IPA. But, of course, the brewers can call it what they want. They can brew a stout and call it a porter. They can brew a porter and call it a stout. Uh, just same with these. They can brew a golden ale and call it this, or they can brew an amber ale and call it that. Uh, it all depends on what the brewer wants to call it. So, 
he's at the, uh, his own liberty to, to do whatever he wants as far as naming what the beer is. But when I look at it, it says 75 uh, or 7.5 ABV and 93 IBUs. That's an IBA. That's an IBA, guys. There's no doubt about it. So, and that being said, enough of me fussing and flapping my gums. Let's get on with this one and see what I think of it now. Uh, I'm going to pop the cap on it and tell you the food part of this cuisine is curried in Thai. Cheeses are peppery, pepper, peppery, Monterey pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar. Your stronger cheeses, Gorgonzola Limburger. The meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I will add grilled meat to that. And I got a pint back or not, come to mug side side L. I'm using my favorite tulip glass. And not recommended for semi salary. That's why we need a can on date. So these silly boys that put these six month uh, shelf life dates on their beers can, uh, I ain't gonna say it. You know how I feel about it, guys. About a finger of head on that pour, it is a nice, rich, darker amber color. Very good looking beer. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom of it. These guys make some good beers. But a lot of these fools have gone to these enjoy by or used by or fresh by. Uh, and they're giving a six month shelf life or longer. It'll come to the point where it'll be such a limited variety because all these damn fools are going to these fresh by or enjoy by dates. So I won't buy them anymore. Uh, it'll be a very limited selection. And a lot of these brewers know that. And, they, and they'll put a fresh... Uh, a bottle on date or a canned on date because they want you to have their beers as fresh as possible. But some of them don't, and these guys are one of them. Get a nose on it. Got a very nice, uh, piney, and some grapefruit and pineapple. It does have a strong maltiness to it. It's got a nice aroma, but it does have a strong maltiness to it already, and it's still got five months to go. Uh, it says 16, 1, 2, 3, 0, 301. If I was guessing, I would say this was the 301st day of 2016. So if it is, that's October, November, December, January, February. March, April, May. If that's when it was canned, they're giving it a seventh month, seven month shop life. I'd hate to taste this beer in, in May. It'd be a malty mess. And I'd be very disappointed if I paid money for it. Well, let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Little bit of citrusness in there. Slide him of some grapefruit and of some pineapple. Hops are not overpowering any, or anything like that. Decent beer. Not getting much alcohol on the taste for a seven and a half percenter. That tells me it's a well made beer. But it's not outstanding to me, guys, right now. We're going to sip on it for a little while before I. Uh, say anything else about the beer but uh, when I see these enjoy by used by fresh by or best by dates and they're giving it six seven or, or longer shelf lives it kind of chaps my ass a little bit that they want to have a, an IPA uh, or something that's hoppy with that many IBUs now they can have a lot of bitterness in it and not be very hoppy so maybe that was the direction they were going on on this uh, since they're actually not calling it an IPA uh, and they're calling it uh, uh, an amber ale. So, well, let me sip on it for a while. And we'll come back and I'll tell you what I think of it. If I haven't done that already. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sitting on about 20 minutes or so. If you're just getting into IPAs, you'll probably like this beer. Uh, the hops are not overpowering. Definitely not a West Coast style. Uh, a little more subdued, but it's well made. I'm not getting into the alcohol. When I reviewed this many years ago, uh, I thought it was an A beer. Don't believe I'm going there this time, especially now that they're doing that silly ass 
six, seven, eight month shelf life on the beer. I don't know why they do that. I, yeah, I do. The reason they do that is to give it a longer shelf life. They're going to sell more of it. But if you buy a beer that's six, seven, eight months old and it's supposed to be a hoppy beer and it's not, are you going to buy it again? Are you going to buy any of their stuff again? So I don't know where they think that's going to get them other than selling more beers to suckers. So, final chug. And like I said, guys, uh, to me, now that I've had some of the juice bombs, like from Trillium or Treehouse and a lot of the other breweries uh, that are doing this New England style, my palate's probably a little run now over that. Uh, and, and being able to get those beers at the brewery uh, and super fresh, these guys can get these beers that are one, two, three days old, no more than a week, and they're gone. Uh, if you don't pick them up and then they brew it again and uh, you can pick it up again the next time they brew it but uh, to me this guy this beer guys leaves a, a lot to be desired uh, as far as a hoppy beer decent but definitely not outstanding now as far as I'm concerned uh, but I buy this beer probably not uh, like I said Five or six years ago, when I first started drinking IPAs and uh, or started reviewing beers, uh, I thought this beer was outstanding. I do not now. I do not. Uh, this is a B beer to me, guys. It, it is. And that's what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a B. Rush down down the middle, 85. And I'm probably going to go against the grain on this uh, because I'm not a big fan of the way they're dating their stuff. So, uh, let's go over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate has 96 World Class. I disagree with that 100%. Uh, I would rate beer. They have it at 99, 100 in the style. Mm, awful good numbers from those guys. I know they're giving it a six, seven, eight month shelf life. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.04, which is in their A category also. I am not there, guys. Like I said, I'm going against the grade on, on this one. Everybody's thinking it's an A beer. I'm not going there. I am definitely not going there. It is not a super hoppy West Coast style. It's more of an East Coast style and maybe even a English style IPA in my opinion at, at the stage of the game that my palate is in now. So uh, B, it's a B beer to me guys. Uh, now, like I said, a lot of people say, oh you're crazy, it's an A beer. I'm not going to argue with that. If you think it's outstanding, my God, just buy it all up. That's what I'll tell you. Yeah, just go get it. Just get it. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, there are a lot better beers than this out there. And I'll spend my money on that. If you send me a beer, I will review it, but just be, just be warned. I'm going to tell you what I think of it. Uh, I'm not going to pull any punches. I know you don't brew the beer, and I appreciate everything that everybody sends to me, Rico and Andrew and everybody. Uh, but I'm going to be straight up honest with you. And like I said, five or six years ago, I thought this was an A beer. Not so much now. Uh, there are better beers than this out there and more tastier beers and more fresher beers. So uh, that's the, probably the biggest key that I've got, or gripe I've got about this beer, is that I'm putting that long of a shelf life on it. Uh, this beer is going to be a malty mess uh, come May. It will. It will be very malty. And you probably won't even be able to detect any hops in it by the other. But, you know, they're trying to sell beer. So, with that being said, if you've had this one from Troves or Nugget Nectar, let me know what you think. Uh, decent beer, but definitely not an A or an outstanding beer to me. So let's come on back tomorrow and see what we can dig out of the fridge. Maybe we can get us one of those juice bombs. See you then.